Hi guys and welcome to another edition of How to Draw. Uh, in this episode I'm going to show you how to draw a very, very popular character. Um, you know, this is a character who... He's got his own theme parks. Um, he's got his own studio tours. Um, spinning out of those came movies. And then there are now even, I believe, I saw him uh, a bookstore the other day. I think there's even books based on the movies now, um, which is just crazy to me. Uh, the popularity of this guy is it's Harry Potter. Um, and I'm going to draw him as he appears in the movie. Um, well, several movies, really. Um, the movies from Goblet of Fire to Deathly Hallows, where he started to dress not like a little prick. Um, and he um, just looked a lot more mature. I suppose he was older, so that's why, really. Um, there's the zip. Okay, now his head. Now, Harry Potter. This, Like I said, this is based on the film version. So this is Daniel Radcliffe as he uh, as he appears in the movies. Um, I believe the books took a slightly different approach to the way that he is portrayed. Um, but certainly this is the movie version. Uh, they've actually just recently been on terrestrial television in the United Kingdom. Um, it's disappointing that they're not showing the most recent ones. Deathly Hallows Part 1 and 2. Um, but yeah, this is a character who, he evolves a lot during the course of the movies. Um, he starts off really a bit of a dick, um, doesn't really know what he's doing with his life, and just doesn't use his skill and fame to his potential, I think it's fair to say. Um, they, they deem him the boy who lived, because he, I'll draw a little... Hogwarts crest on his sleeve. Uh, yeah, they deem him the boy who lived because the story goes that um, Lord Voldemort uh, zapped him when he was about five or something um, and it created this scar on his head, which is what I've just drawn there. Um, now for some colour. Uh, yeah, and this meant that he survived. Um, it was a killing curse, the Avada Kedavra, curse which should have killed him and um, it did not it did not kill him so uh, he goes on a series of wacky and wild adventures with all his chums Hermione and Ron well he's got two main friends it's unfair to say that they're his only friends but I may suppose they are his only friends really um, uh, but you know he's, he's a popular character for sure um, I think he he adequately portrays the British citizen, uh, the, the modern British citizen, um, which is a, a young man with good moral fibre. Good moral fibre indeed. Um, apart from I do not agree with his exploits with the, I believe at the time, underage G Ginny Weasley. Um, I think in the books it's something that they explore a lot more, but he is obsessed with her. He is absolutely obsessed with her from a very young age. Uh, I think when we join Harry Potter in the movies, um, I think he's I think he's ten or eleven, um, and he certainly doesn't get any younger. And Ginny is at least two years below him, if not three, I believe. Um, and this, I think, is like I say, something that they expand upon in the books to a more um, ferociously unacceptable, I would say, degree. Um, but uh, he becomes obsessed with Ginny Weasley. Almost straight away, he becomes absolutely just infatuated with her. Um, he, I think he writes her letters, uh, asking her on dates, and um, I think it culminates in him actually raping her, um, which is something that they'll probably focus on more in the books as they'll have that, that freedom to do so. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, so it's, again, it's not a character that I fully agree with his method. Certainly I'm, I'm not condoning rape. Um, I can't condone that. Um, but there it is, guys. It's Harry Potter. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. If you've got any more requests, let me know, and I'm always happy to do them. Thanks for watching.